Hey guys, Barry Luffy, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got through the sh ship, the SS Hand, and yeah, that's about all we got in the last episode. But here we are at the gym, we're ready to go here, so let's just jump right on into it. So, see what this guy got to say. Yo, champ in the making. Uh, Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as a Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird, water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. He wear paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He's locked himself in so it won't be easy getting to him. So, what he means by that is if I don't get into battle. You have to have, yeah, the trick to this dungeon is we gotta look through these, I don't know, garbage cans I assume they are. But there's two switches here and once you find one, the, the other one will be right next to it. But, I might as well just fight the trainers here before we do anything. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good. Funny story about this, uh, dun oh, this gym. When I was a kid, I remember when I first played the original red version. I remember coming to this gym and I just couldn't figure this place out for the life of me. I he was here for so long trying to figure it out, but I just eventually I decided I just didn't want to do it, so I just skipped to this whole gym entirely. And back in that time, I'm pretty. I think this might be the same for this generation too, but the. Uh, this actually makes it so you learn uh, the HM. You can use the HM fly at a battle, so that means you can teleport around. So I went through the whole game without flying. So I imagine I walked everywhere, and it took a long time. But I remember I went through all the bat, rest of the badges, got all the way to the uh, yeah victory. No, not victory. They're like yeah, going to head to the elite four when they start asking for all your badge, and I was like, okay, let's do this. Get to the third guy. He's like, nope, you don't got this badge. And I was like, uh oh. So I had to come all the way back here and my Pokemon are like extremely more powerful than like these Pokemon and I eventually figured it out somehow and yeah it was pretty weird. I, I don't really remember actually coming back. I do remember being here, giving up and then I do remember getting denied at the thing. That was like years, years, years ago though. I, my mind is very fuzzy from that but it's gonna heal Manky really quick. Uh, do I don't even have anything to heal paralysis. No I don't. Man, eh, whatever. Manky will just have to deal with it. He's like, eats it through his non-existent mouth. I'm gonna show how strong Manky is gonna fight the next guy here. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. Yeah, that gut of yours tells me that you're a definite lightweight. And apparently he loses it. But he like changed clothes to you guys, lunchbox, and now it's like toolbox, or whatever. But we're gonna kill Mr. Bailey here and bolt orb. Get in there, Mankey. Hopefully my Pokemon can defeat the leader, Lieutenant Surge, because I might be able to. Like, my Pokemon aren't totally underleveled like they were before, but uh, they're still, we don't got a serious type advantage over them at all, so I could, I was considering going to catch a Diglett, but I was like, eh. Eh, I might as well give myself a little bit of a challenge here. If I do fail too much, I probably will end up teaching Mankey Dig. And I want Mankey to get some experience here, so yeah, I, the Dig TM that we got back in Cerulean. I might just teach it to Mankey or Chameleon just so I can get a type advantage over Lieutenant Surge, but I doubt it'll have to, co it'll have to come to that. Hopefully it doesn't have to. I just remembered I didn't set my time. Uh-oh. Ah, whatever. Not like we're going over 50 minutes already. Magnemite, done. Fried. It's always safe for himself. He just shuts up and never talks to us again. Anyway, we might as well get cracking on this. Actually, I'm gonna go heal real quick. I'll be right back. Oh okay, yeah, let's keep going here. So, you just gotta keep looking at these. Yeah, just keep looking at these trash cans. If you do fail, oh, there we go, found one. And then, not the same one. Damn it. Yeah, if you miss, it resets. That's the gimmick here, like, you find it, and you have to hope that you can pick the right trash can to look under. It's annoying as hell. Ugh. Nope. Nope, Chuck Testa. Like Chuck Testa popping his head out of everyone. Nope. Nope. You probably thought this garbage can was alive. Or this guy was alive. Or this garbage can was alive. Nope. Uh, enough of those memes for now. Oh wow, this is gonna be like the last one I check. Jeez. Hey, yeah, let's switch in here. 
And nope, Chuck Tester. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. One time. What? Come on. Now it's just getting trolled by a bunch of garbage cans here. Ugh, hope it doesn't take very long. Come on, man. I was hoping this wouldn't be annoying. Ugh. Ugh. Come on now. Uh, there we go. And we're gonna go here one time. What? Seriously? Ser seriously, man? Oh my god. I really don't want to have to cut this. This is not how it is. Oh, uh, uh, let's go back this one. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay, so now we're gonna fight Mr. Man here. When I was in the army, Lieutenant served my strict CO. He was a hard taskmaster. He's like 80 years old. Why was he a like superior officer? He's like, he's like his, nah, uh, whatever. And Pikachu. I, that's a funny story. Like, I'm, I'm reading like Pokemon theories a while ago. It's like saying like how they turn like they're talking about this war. Like, I don't know. They always say that like the turn is in the war and all that. And why? Uh, what's the name? Red, come on man, Red and Gary don't have any fathers because they may have died in the war and all that, I don't know. There's a lot of weird theories about this game and all that. I could go into them and that, but I don't want it because it's just a lot of stuff people put a lot of time thinking about. Maybe they shouldn't have, but meh, whatever. And there we go, Mankey goes level. Very well done, Mankey. Tucker, Tucker, stop! You're very good. And I was like, you know, like come out and hit me with your cane, make his cool, I'd each up your dome. But here we go, Lieutenant Sage, guys. But I'll be back on here really quick. Okay, guys, let's do this. Hey, kid, what do you think you're doing here? You don't live long in combat. No, with your puny power, and I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same as I'll do to you. Kind of weird that. He yeah, actually brought Pokemon to the war. It must have been one hell of a war. Of course, the American is the war hero, though, but whatever. Not gonna touch that. Anyway, you got Volto up here. Uh, I think in uh, the old games, you had four Pokemon. I think you had two Voltors, but don't quote me on that. I, I do remember one version of this fight in one of the games, he has four Pokemon. But I can't remember which one. Yeah, just, you just gotta watch out for this Volto. Like, the Volto have been the evolved from a Volto, but. Uh, Pretty fast Pokemon, so you gotta watch out for that and Pikachu. Uh, to your dying breath, Mankey. Well, 18 Pikachu here. Boom. Well done, Mankey. Just getting in there. Can Mankey solo this? Doubt it. So, Lieutenant's last and strongest Pokemon is Raichu. Raichu level 24 here. Uh oh. Let's get in there. Well, down goes Mankey. Oh! The clutch critical? Nope. Oh well. You tried, Mankey, you tried. The valiant effort. He did a lot better than I thought he would. Uh <laughs> Get in there, Justin. Go die. Die for your team. This is uh Justin's probably gonna hate me for this, but whatever. Get in there. Lower his evasion. Or just fail like you do all at everything else. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But anyways, Charmeleon. He was getting pretty low level there. Let's get in there. Let's finish this. Shockwave. Whoa. Survive. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got it. in the bag. Uh-oh. Maybe not in the bag. Uh-oh. Don't you start now. Don't you start this double team noob. Long. Ah, damn it! How did I know he's gonna do that? And we're back at oh, square two. Actually, he's not fully evolved. Oh, not, not evolved, fully healed. But let's try and mega punch. Okay, now we're going up. I don't want to. I don't know. We're going into some trouble now. Let's punch him in the kisser. Pow! In the kisser. Uh oh. This is good. Um. I really want Chameleon to get this experience. Now I get in the picture, I'm gonna heal Tremeleon. 
I really want Tremulin to get some of this. Get a piece of this, though. I know. Yes, yes. Do your shockwave that shouldn't do much to me. Well, did enough. Alright, there we go. Nice and paralyzed. Paralyzed with fear. What? What? I didn't know. Wow, I didn't even know you do that. Well, you sure was ready for my Pikachu then. Um. Uh. That's good. He can't have to. I really don't want him to get out of range with his double team here. Okay, we, we got him. If he runs away with that double team, things will get pretty bad for us. Ugh, uh oh. Uh oh. No. Having a nice thunder wave fight here. No, no. Uh oh. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Just, he gets out of range with. Okay. Thank god. I'm not totally out of this yet. He's still able to be hit. Oh no! Uh, Gyarados, get in there. If he gets hit by one shockwave, I guarantee you he is done. There's no way he'll survive a shockwave. But let's give him a water pulse. Oh, thank God it hit. Finish him off? Well done, Gyarados. The, the Pokemon I said wouldn't do anything in this fight. Finish it off. There we go. Third gym down. Now that's a shocker. I agree. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. And he pays us off to you. Thunder Badge... Uh, yeah. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon's speed. It also lets the Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, fly HM. You're special, kid. Take this. Give this, like... I don't know, I was about to make a... Mental... No, never mind. Shockwave! Teach it to an electric Pokemon. He doesn't even go elaborate what that is, so let's go see what it is. Uh, Shockwave, I might actually teach it to my Pikachu if it's any good, I can't remember. A rapid jolt of electricity strikes the foe. It can't be evaded. Hmm. Interesting. I might. But later. Let's head on out of here. We gotta save yourself. Woo! That match was electric. He's just like watching from way over here. Didn't come like look at us or so whatever. What a weirdo. Uh, but now that we're done here. Uh, there's one thing I want to squeeze into this episode before we're out. So. I'll meet you guys way back here, I gotta go do some healing. Alright guys, back from healing, so let's head on uh, over here, so... In Diglett's Cave, it's actually a tunnel back to previous areas that were unaccessible to see. Where those places are, we'll see in a second. So I just threw up a repel there, let's go. What the? Forgot I had the HM play out in front, so there we are. No more battles, unless we run into a Doug Trio, which would be pretty sweet. But I doubt it. Very doubtful. Geez, I don't remember this place being this long. Oh, well, we should be at the end soon. I just realized this is a pretty good training place for Gyarados, because half of the moves don't even affect him anyways. And he has Water Pulse. Blah. Those random encounters. But anyways, we're out of here now. What do you guys say? I went inside the rock tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I get a Pokemon to use Flash, I'll and light it up. But you can't because you suck. Anyways, if you guys really remember this part, that's what, how we get out of Viridian Forest and up there is Pewter City, but we don't gotta go back there, we don't need that. But I actually wanna come here. We got here. Fan Pokemon is a blah blah, I don't even wanna talk to you, but I wanna talk to this guy over here. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want trade from Mr. Mime? I do! So, aha, level 17 Abra, you guys might be wondering, what the hell would you get this? But. When I got to the daycare, like when I was able to access the daycare, I went off screen and caught an Abra and threw it in the daycare and I've been, it's been in there after, like during the SSN and all that. So I managed to get a few levels. Let me trade for Mr. Mime here. Um, when you trade for your in-game trades, the Pokemon you trade away, the level of it will be the same level as the Pokemon you receive. So that's why I put it in the daycare because I didn't want this Mr. Mime being level 8. And we get Mimeian. Yeah, the downside is it's already a nickname when you get it, so whatever. It's fine. Hey, thanks. But well, let's gonna take a look at a new Pokemon here. Mimeon. 
so it's level 17. Confusion, Substitute, Meditate, Double Slap. Not too shabby. My man here is actually a really good Psychic type. He's uh, got some pretty good special defense as you saw. And I forget what other stat it was. Take a look at what it was. So yeah, special defense, some good special attack too. All around a good special Pokemon. Speed's high, but yeah. So, no, he's no Alakazam, but he'll get the job done. So yeah, he's the he'll, he will be the fifth member of my team, so. But I think we got enough done in this episode now, so. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button. So it's been the Bear Love. Let's play Pokemon Fire Red, and I'll see you guys next time.